Canada is a small country. We have 34 million people. We're not growing very quickly. We have a population decline, as a matter of fact. And so we know that if we want to continue the kind of economic growth that we've been seeing and that we hope to achieve, that the only way that we can do that is if everyone is reaching their full potential. And that's why we're so focused on ensuring the success of women. Um, and we know that we have to be not generic when we talk about women, but understand the barriers that different kinds of women face. So for example, you know, the challenges for women from visible minorities or women with disabilities or indigenous women, young women, women from other re uh, underrepresented groups are even more uh, profound. And so we have to be very intentional when we're talking about growth and when we're talking about the success of our country to be thoughtful about how we ensure those folks that don't see themselves in that growth feel that they too have a chance that they too have a chance to not just transition with an economy that's moving, as my colleague noted, very rapidly. You know, we've seen massive change before. Think the Industrial Revolution, we've talked about this at length. Steam power, electricity, which drastically improved our standard of living and transformed how we live and work. But this time, it is different, and we know it. The pace, at which these new technologies are being developed, adopted, and introduced are absolutely astonishing. And the scope of this change is equally stunning and is transforming nearly every sector of our economy. And we need to work together, businesses, governments, and academia during this transformation to reap all the benefits, all hands on deck, and we must work together.